Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to walk through how we can use Python to implement and test a simple trading strategy based on a trend following approach. In just a couple of words, the trend following uh, technique is a trading strategy according to which one should buy an asset when its price trend goes up and sell when its trend goes down, expecting the price movement to continue, of course. And uh, here we we see just uh, a, a few lines of code which I already written, which uh, are just to import some needed uh, packages and libraries. And here I downloaded around three years of data of the SPY index, so the standard poor index. And this is the data frame downloaded with the Yahoo Finance package YF. Okay, now we can actually start to write the, the most important part of the code. So uh, first we need to generate signals to determine if the current stock price trend goes up or down. And in particular, we have two types of signals, which are the fast signal and the, the slow signal. First we have the fast signal, which is simply a moving average of stock prices over the recent 10 days. So. I add a new column to our data frame and call it MA10, which stands for moving average of 10 days. And uh, we just need to take the close column you see here and take rolling the last 10 values and then compute the mean. The very same is done for this low signal, but this time here we have the slow signal. This time is a moving average of 50 days. And so we have here just to change the F of MA50 with, with the rolling window of 50 days. Then we just drop the MA values with drop MA function. And then I just print the first, for instance, five uh, elements of the new DF. And you can see these new columns. Okay. Now our strategy is developed based on the rationality which I'm going to write right here. So in particular we have these conditions variable which is if the moving average of 10 days, so if MA10 is greater than MA50, then we buy and hold one share of stock and we will sell it whenever the DF of MA10 is lower than MA50. So I just write in uh, in Python this, what, what I just said. So DF of MA10 greater than DF of MA50. And then I just copy this and write df of MA10 lower than the MA50, and these are the conditions. Now, the important thing is the choices, which, I, as I just said, is one, so I buy whenever the first condition happens, so MA10 greater than MA50, and I sell, so zero, whenever MA10 goes lower than MA50, and uh, I create a new column in the data frame that displays results of this this comparison uh, with choices. So I call it position and I say select conditions choices. Conditions choices. And this uh, add a new column to the data frame. So I just to let you see here we have this new column position, which is one whenever the first condition happens and then goes back to zero whenever the second condition happens, whenever it's true. And uh, in between these two dates, there are uh, three years of data, so we have many ones, hopefully. And uh, okay, now we can calculate the, the profit, the daily profit for our long positions. And then we will plot them. So we create First, a new column, call it close next, just for simplicity for the profit computation, which is simply the closure price 
no, so yeah, the the close loop price of the the day after. So, so I in the same row I will have also, for instance, in this row we will have not just three eight two but also three eight one here in particular. And so shift of minus one because we want the day after. Then we had this new very important column which is the profit. So here I will have df at i and close next, so the day after minus df of i close, so today. Tomorrow minus today, I'd say. And this only whenever the position is one. So if df dot lock i position this time equal equal to one. Otherwise I just write zero for every i in the data frame, so in df dot index. So it iterate through all the whole data frame df and it computes this value whenever the position is equal to one. Okay, now I can just plot this uh, this column, so the profit column. And I say df profit dot plot. I add a new a new line, so plt dot x line of y is equal to zero and then I say color wrap just to to have an idea of what the zero is where where the zero is in the plot and then I show it. Uh, I think there is one mistake. Okay just a typo because I was portion okay position. Okay and here you can see the daily profit of, of our trading strategy. Finally, we can compute the cumulative profit, which is the thing we we are most interested in, of course. Uh, we can compute the cumulative profit over the days, so over the three years, and plot a line chart to visualize the profit. So, df of add a new column, and I call it cumulative profit. Cumulative profit, which is df of profit, and then it's very simple because we already have in Python the sum, the cumulative sum function, and then I plot it. So df of cumulative profit dot plot, and then I show it. Okay, so. In overall, we can observe that our strategy shows a profit gain throughout the year with, of course, some fluctuation, but although the, the term following strategy presented here is very promising. But, however, I just say that uh, there are, this is just a very simple implementation of, of this strategy because there are many more aspects that we need to take into account before applying it to the real market investment but as you can see this is uh, very promising and uh, this is the end of the video and i hope you you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching